today we are going to see how to configure and use the weight smart shape in pega you can click on the plus step icon go to more go to automation smart shapes and select the weight so these all are listed in alphabetical order as w comes at the end you can scroll to the end when you click on it this comes up you need to press the select button as you can see that now the weight step is added here in app studio in the back end in dev studio in this flow rule this weight shape will be added automatically you can configure the weight shape as per your business need either from the app studio on the right side pane or from the flow rule in dev studio so dependency can be of two types so the weight shape type can be of two types one is cache dependency and other is the timer dependency coming to cache dependency you can wait you can make the current cache wait until another cache status changes to a specified value or another case will be resolved the relation between the cases should be parent and child cases compulsorily so you cannot wait for some other case type which is not having any top level or child level relationship with the current case so if you select wait for all child cases to be resolved so in this assistance request parent top level case what all child cases are there all those child cases should be resolved then only this weight shape will move forward the difference between weight shape and assignment shape is that in assignment shape once you press submit it will move forward even in weight shape if you want you can press users can choose to manually continue the process then you can manually instead of waiting you can manually proceed this forcibly but the other key difference is if user doesn't proceed the case will wait at the assignment status at the assignment step indefinitely but coming to wait shape even when the user does not open the case manually whenever this wait type conditions are satisfied case dependency condition is met or if you select timer timer condition is met then the parent case will move automatically forward in the flow to the next step say for example after this wait shape the next is resolution stage when if you say, make this configuration wait for all child cases to be resolved the moment all child cases are resolved then automatically even if no one has opened the parent case the parent case will move from the this step to the next step review service summary automatically it will go there so uh, if you unselect this then you can select say if your parent case is having many child cases so in that case all the child cases you want all the child case types to be resolved or to reach a specific status so you can select any specific status so i want pending investigation status or if you any means at least one any one child case also also instead of the child case you can keep the current case also so you want current case status to reach this stage then only you want to proceed forward maybe by using some activity or queue processor or job scheduler or from external api the case status changes we don't know who is changing the case status but the moment case status changes then only it will proceed forward current case if you want the child dependency based on child case you need to select the child in in this example child service is a service is the child case of assistance request so assistance request is the parent case service is the child case so if you unselect this users can continue to con uh, choose to continue process then manually user cannot override this behavior if you select this yes manually user can uh, forcibly forward this even though the conditions are not met so consider the status after wait begins this is like whatever status you are checking you want the status to be checked after this wait step comes into the effect so coming to timer 
here you, the, again you have two things one is set date bar time interval that is if i keep 3 hours one month empty means is all or zero then once the case comes here it will wait at this way shape for one month and three hours and then automatically move to the next step or if you want to configure it dynamically instead of hard coding the hours and months and days then you can select a reference date bar time you can select some date time property maybe in some uh, save date time or some date time so when the current date time reaches this date time in this property or passes this date time property then only it moves forward so you can create one property maybe called as sla deadline or some these are own tv properties you can create your own properties in dev studio then that properties start appearing under this drop down you select that date time property so once system date time matches this date time property or system date time is in the future of this date time property then automatically it will move forward as you can see here we have a wait shape with case dependency type and wait for is only one child case as service to be resolved to be resolved means the service case type status should be started with resolved it can be resolved rejected resolved completed resolved hyphen anything it should start with resolved then it is considered as resolved now we came to the serv select services and this is the child case that got created when you open this child case you can click here to know what is its parent case so when you click on this down arrow it is showing assistance request a dash 18 so this current service case is nothing but a child case of assistance request case type whose pyid is a dash 18 you can click here to open the parent case so this is the parent case here as you can see it is waiting when you click on the go button of parent case it will show that your case is currently waiting if you have selected the checkbox users can manually force the waiting uh, manually force the advancing the case without waiting or reading the default wait shape behavior even though these conditions are not met then you will be presented with a section in this case if you press go of the child case you can complete that case so now I have opened the parent case and this is the child case attached to that parent case. This is the parent case. Now if I select go button as you can see here. The review service summary step in the assistant request question does not have a view defined it because we did not view a section. If you want you can create your own um, uh, section for this. So basically the system waits here. We have checked the checkbox. Users can choose to continue process. That I will show now how it will affect in the runtime. So we have spawned the child case. I have run the flow again. So the, we can click here to go to the parent case. See here. Wait for service completion. Await dependency to be fulfilled service due to due less than a minute ago. So when you press on the parent case, go. As you can see, this process is waiting for service to be resolved. Would you like to stop waiting and continue this process earlier? as that you users can manually override this behavior checkbox is checked yes continue will come here otherwise this will not come no i want to wait if you want to continue click on go and yes continue means even though the conditions are not met still we can we are proceeding to the next step of course view is not defined for the next step and hence this has come thank you